In this lesson, we will learn how POST request works. GET is an HTTP method used to request data from the server. In the last lesson, we made examples of the GET request. POST is used to send data to the server. The sent data is saved on the server. For example, imagine you are sharing something on social media. The content and title of your post must be sent to the server. We use the HTTP POST method for sending. The server saves the sent title and content. It shows the saved shares when the GET request comes. Let's understand better how it works by giving an example. One GET request in the code file is sufficient for now. I just set the path to slash. I open the terminal to activate the server. I activate the terminal in the command prompt section. I can activate the server with this code. Let's make a GET request in the Postman program. The server ran the function and returned a string. I will create a POST request. I determine the method and path. I will create a function. You can give the function name as you wish. I want a message to be returned when the POST request reaches the server. Let's create a POST request in Postman. I am copying the server HTTP address. Make sure the path matches. The server sent the specified message back. We haven't sent any data to the server yet. In the current situation, there is no difference between GET and POST requests. We will send data to the server soon. Let's continue editing the code. Let's transfer the body library first. Thanks to the body library, we will be able to process the data sent to the server in the function. You will soon understand better how it works. I add a variable named turtle to the function. I will access the sent data with a variable named turtle. But I need to use the body library to automatically detect the type of variables. Now let's learn how to send data to the server using Postman. Go to the body section. Select raw. You can choose methods such as JSON, HTML, XML to send data to the server. JSON is generally preferred. You can write the data you want to send here. I will send title and content data. I want to show the sent information in the return. We can easily access the data sent with the turtle variable. I have access to title and content. Now let's send the POST request. The sent information was resent to us by the server. I want to save the sent data to a list. I will edit the GET request in a moment. 
when the get request reaches the server, I want the sent data to be displayed again. You can think of it like a social media application. Posts you share may be visible to other users. To do this, let's create an empty list. I can save the sent data to the list with the append command. We can use the print command to see the data. The function ran when the request was made. Let's send different data. The information is written to the console. I want to send one more data. The function works smoothly. Now let's edit the GET request. I want it to display the post list when the GET request reaches the server. Let's send a post request. When the GET request is made, it shows us all the data in the list. Let's make another post request. Both of them were saved in the list and shown to us with the GET request. Let's make one more request. The application works exactly as I want. You can think of each member of the list as a post. I no longer need the print command. Every time the server is restarted, all elements in the list are deleted. This is a problem. Even if the server shuts down for any reason, we do not want the messages to be deleted. To do this, we will work with a database in future lessons. First I want you to fully understand how get, post, put and delete requests work. Let's send some data using the post command again. You can make a few tries at this stage to learn how to use Postman. When the get request reaches the server, it shows all the data. Instead of showing all data, we can get certain data with the get request. To do this, I need one more GET request. I'll post a number after slash. I determine the type of the variable sent. Instead of showing the entire post variable, I will show a specific member. There are no members in the list because the server has restarted. I will send three data to the server. I can access all the data with a GET request. Thanks to the other GET request, I can access a specific element of the list by sending a number. Let's send different numbers. If we try to access a member that is not on the list, an error will be returned. We can see the index out of range error on the console. Thanks for watching. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.